Disney Plus has another live action MCU show. This time it's Moon Knight, a character I knew absolutely nothing about going in. And now that I've seen the first episode, I know absolutely nothing about him. Let's talk about it. I should point out when I do TV show reviews, I usually do the first episode and then the final season, like overall thoughts. Sometimes, like in the case of Boba Fett, if a lot happens in an episode or it just pisses me off altogether, I'll do more episode reviews. But for the sake of this, I plan on just doing episode one and then a full season recap. So make sure to subscribe if you want to hear my thoughts on the, the later stuff. Otherwise, let's just continue. I semi-jokingly opened this up by saying I know nothing about this character after watching the first episode because the information I've been presented on the first episode seems to be almost a red herring. A little bit of misdirection. You see, everything I've been presented so far about Oscar Isaac's character is a lie. The name he's given isn't real. His real name is Mark. Or that's also another alias. Who knows? Outside of the 2% of the viewers that actually read Moon Knight the comic. I also know Mark has a tough time falling asleep and does some really weird shit. Like taping his door and pouring sand around the bed. And he has a voice that talks to him just like Venom. What I don't understand is why the voice just starts talking to him when he gets that scarab in his pocket. That beetle. Was the voice there previously? Or did the beetle make it happen? How did he get the artifact? How does he keep showing up in different locations? The show's just teasing us, giving us little tantalizing morsels, but then pulling the rug out and instantly jumping to another scene. This happens constantly throughout the first episode. Something exciting happens, like a car chase, and boom, he's back in bed. He's arguing with someone, and boom, he's in another location. Now, I don't mind this. I think it's actually kind of refreshing from a storytelling perspective compared to all the other more generic superhero films. But I'm hoping this doesn't continue much longer. I, I do need to eventually to get something revealed. Because this first episode is 40 some minutes long and it really is just a sequence of rug pulling. Even though this show is being presented in a more interesting narrative fashion, it, it seems more like Fight Club than it does, like say, Spider-Man Homecoming, there still is some of those tropes we've come to expect. The character of Moon Knight, Mark, or Steven, as he's referred to in this first episode, is your kind of standard nerd. He, he gets picked on, he gets pushed around, he has a hard time keeping his life on track. These are all tropes we've come to expect. And I will say his boss just straight sucks. She's garbage. Marcus works at a beautiful museum in London, where his specific role within the organization is gift shop attendant. Outside of lying to his mom over the phone on a daily basis, he doesn't have a lot going on in his life. Because this guy can't make heads or tails of his own life. Is it 3 a.m.? Is it 7 p.m.? What day of the week is it even? He finds himself in some precarious situations in this first episode, and every time trouble raises its ugly head, we get a little snap, and next thing you know, there's bodies all over the floor, he's got blood on his hands, and we have no idea what happened. It is an interesting approach to make us see things through his eyes. We don't unfortunately get the interesting moments in this first episode of how these guys are getting their asses kicked and how he's getting out of said situations, but it is fun to be in his shoes, as long as they're not filled with glass, which is what the villain for some reason does. And that villain is Arthur, played by Ethan Hawke. He's gonna come and go throughout this picture. He's got the scales tattoo on his arms, he's got the justice thing going on, and he can determine, or I guess the god he's working for, if you're good or bad and whether you need to be put down now so that you don't do something horrible later. There are some very interesting ideas here. I like the, the play off of the Egyptian lore and the gods and goddesses and the small little glimpses we get of Moon Knight and some of these other characters is really interesting and I'm excited to watch more for the show. I can't say I'm wowed by anything right now. Nothing's really hooking me the way that some other pilots have like Lost or even The Walking Dead but there's enough here at least to, to keep me invested further. Music wise, there's a cool score here. There's some classic songs played. The show at one point features Wham's Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, and I just have to say, how dare you? How dare you take that song from Zoolander? It was and always will be Derek Zoolander's song. From a direction standpoint, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm digging it. I like the contrasting shadows and light. It feels a lot less flat than a lot of MCU movies even do. There, there's some actual color grading going on. There's some depth of field going on. I like how they're playing off of mirrors and things of that nature. Yeah, there's, there's plenty to appreciate from a visual standpoint. It's odd though, I went on IMDb to see who directed and there's no director listed. 
um, which makes me think that there's not going to be one specific director for this season, but a few different ones. Which, I, I mean, I guess, whatever. That's a little disheartening. I do like when there is one kind of vision going on, but as long as everybody is kind of following the same playbook for what they have set out, fine. Whatever. If you're looking for a lot of action, this first episode doesn't deliver much. There is a high-speed chase on the side of a mountain that's, that's pretty fun, pretty interesting. And then there's a tiny little thing at the end, um, but it's not much at all. It's nothing special. So overall, it's a decent start. Not incredibly wowed by it, but uh, I'm interested enough to keep watching. And Oscar Isaac, fantastic performance here. I do really like this character, even though I know virtually nothing about him. He's very likable. He's very genuine. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on Moon Knight. Like the video if you had a good time. Again, make sure to subscribe if you want to hear further thoughts on this show going forward, or just hear what I have to say about other movies, TV shows, and, and news that happens in the uh, sphere of cinema. Hopefully I'll see you next time.